Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why rotation is happening faster. Uh, the official, and you guys feel free to leave comments, I actually did spend time researching this week, which is different from every other week in this channel, about what you feel um, on this opinion. So I did some homework on rotation and what the official stance was. They said that they want it to be exciting, they want standard to be exciting, they want to promote the new cards, etc, etc. Um, and they also, it was mentioned, not from Wizard of the Coast directly, but it was mentioned that having a format that rotates faster would actually help players because then the decks would be more affordable because then the market would adjust. So far, the market hasn't adjust. Uh, people are spending $500 on their decks right now. Uh, yes, it's not $800, but if you rotate 50% faster, it's actually closer to $750. So the price savings is not the reason to do it. The secondary market is pretty much brutal when it comes to rotation. Outside of the cons fetch lands, everything else is just soaring, uh, which is a good card, which sees till modern play is like $4 now. Um, I know <laughs> dig through time is about a dollar. And these staples, uh, supposed staples, are not doing very well. Uh, even thought sees from which should be over $20 is not. Abrupt decay is not. And so this concept of even these highly played cards being safe, that no longer applies. Shocklands are still shocklands, but they haven't gone up any because there's so much of it being produced that even cards that are safe will not go up in price. At most, they just keep it. Just, they are just even. Uh, which gets me to my next point and a very you know compelling point is if rotation is not supposed to help players uh, and does it create a more robust format, a more exciting format? Does it give you more bang for your buck? Or, so Magic is competing with everything out there. So when they say Hearthstone is not a competitor, that's a lie, because Magic competing for your time and your money. So for your time, is it being, is it better entertainment? and therefore you'll be willing to pay more money because if you go to an amusement park, you pay for more for a really nice amusement park than you do for a bad one or a state fair. We have a lot of those here in Texas because there's no rides, right? The, the rides quality is poor. So I would pay more to go to Six Flags than I would pay to go to like a local uh, or any entertainment. So when you deal with time and you deal with money, it's not just magic. It's movies or competing video games, retro video games, new video games, anime, cosplay, whatever. They're all competing for this. Every person has this much time and this much money. And my opinion is standard is not any better than I remember it being. In fact, it is worse off for the player. And this is why. So standard is all about getting these new cards and they're changing stuff. And first of all, there's no quality reprints, no quality reprints and shadows over Innistrad, Oath of the Gatewatch, or uh, what's the other one? Uh, Battle for Zendikar. They promised after the core set left and the core set was able to print, core set gave us a lot of, really, a lot of stuff. Uh, Court of Calling was a really good one. Orgbog, I mean, imagine if Orgbog, Tomb of Yagamot Mare was not reprinted during the winter, the Andrazi winter. Would have been problem. That card spiked $20, really fun EDH card. Uh, scavenging Ooze, which is going, taking up in price. So the core set was this place where we could put all these really high profile reprints, Metavolt. I could go on and on, some really great reprints in that set and some good cards in general. But um, that hasn't happened. So it's not a place that's going to be great for reprints because uh, they have said it. Um, Mero has said Dock Seeds was a mistake and we're not going to make that mistake again. Well, where are these reprints going? The second most important issue about why the game has just not... If you're buying a new deck every set, that is something that you didn't have to do. You could play Abzan until the cows come home or until the Rhino rotates out. And some form of the absent will be okay. So as long as you made that absent deck, you had quite a bit of time to develop it, to play it, not to go ahead. And you can always buy new cards. I'm saying if you cannot afford it, 
that one deck could provide a lot of entertainment. So it's that one video game. I'm playing, um, what's that video? I'm playing Fire Emblem. I play over and over again. I would pay $40 for that game. I have both of them. But I pay $4 for a game, but I get so much entertainment from it because I'm playing it over and over again. As opposed to a game which, you know, Monster Hunter 4, I played a little bit and I don't like it. I still paid $4 for it. So that absent deck provided you a lot of entertainment for the money you put into it. The new decks, they are a flash in the pan. They're not going to be around after new, like, after Edric Moon comes out, they won't be around. I know this because when Shadows of Innistrad, and there's less sets, remember there's less to go around. So absent, you know, if absent was just absent, it would be, it, one, rotate a lot sooner, and B, I think it would be powered down significantly. So you could, so when the next set comes out, they can sell more cards in the next set. And that's why we have reprints. Um, it's a double whammy. It's A, your cards are going to be worth less at rotation because rotation is going to happen more. And B, your deck cost will be the same. But C, you're going to need more decks more often. And that is the main source of income. is isn't that Wizard Coast wants you to lose money on the rotation side. It's the fact that you have to continuously buy new decks as soon as the new set drops because there's less of a card pool and it, you will never have something like Abzan again where it's one dominant deck and that is viewed from Wizard the Coast positively for the players when in fact if you view it financially as a cash-strapped cash Magic player it's actually very negative when you have to go out and buy a new deck every set because your Abzan deck is not going to hold its value very it's not going to hold up because it's just not support. Anyway, bye guys.